Hey guys, what's up? Vero here with Planning Vero. I never know if I should say with Planning Vero or from Planning Vero or whatever, but how are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a fabulous day whenever you're watching this. And I feel weird being in front of the camera for this channel. It's it's a little different. <laughs> but I've been really into using printable shops lately for both kits and just kind of planner stickers in general, and I kind of wanted to show you guys sort of my process for it. Um, as you can see, I have kind of a crazy background. I am a gamer. I do have a gaming slash vlogging slash unboxing whatever YouTube channel, and I stream on Twitch uh, five to six days a week. All my links are down below if you want to check them out. So I'm going to start by showing you guys uh, my printing machine and my sticker paper and what I actually use to physically cut the stickers. <laughs> so this is the actual sticker paper that I use. It is from Online Labels. It's just the removable white matte, white matte paper. I think it works just fine for printing at home. People probably even use it for their shop. What I really like about them too is they often send $10 off coupons. So I usually end up having um, you know, a couple packs of these with a hundred sheets each, so it usually lasts me quite a while. So here's the printer that I use. This is the HP OfficeJet 3830, and I think it works just fine. Let me move my Hearthstone pillow. We also got Buffy. Hello, Buffy. So we're just going to put the paper in the back, and this printer prints whatever's inserted in the front, so it's... I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I think you get what I mean. But if you're just printing at home, you can pretty much use any kind of printer. I think this was maybe like 25, 30 bucks on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure, but I really like it for printing stuff at home. So I mean, use trial and error. If you're obviously, you know, trying to make your own printable shop um, and you're trying to sell like physical stickers, you know, you definitely have to do some research on printers and kind of work what works best for you. But for printing at home, I think this one works great. Now for the actual sticker cutting, I use the Silhouette Cameo and I absolutely love this thing. I will say it is a giant pain in the butt sometimes to use, but it's awesome. So if I'm going to be printing a lot of stickers, so I have it on this like little tier cart thing in the back of my office, but if I'm going to be printing a lot of stuff and cutting a lot of stuff, I usually move this to my desk. So when it comes to actually cutting stickers, you do want to have some space in the back because the sheet will come through here, so please keep that in mind. As I said, I like to move it to my desk if I'm printing a lot of stuff and cutting a lot of stuff. So I'll usually just set mine up just right here. Um, and then I also use this to kind of cut the sheets down so I can actually fit them in my planner. I got this at Target years ago. This is the sticky pad thing that you use to feed the stickers through the machine. And this is just my planner that just happens to be sitting here. So now we're gonna move over to my computer. Um, you obviously do not need <laughs> this much of a computer. As I mentioned before, I'm an avid gamer. I work from home. I have a triple monitor set up. You can use any computer that can run the software like you do you. <laughs> All right, so I swapped over to my screen recording on my computer, as well as the DSLR camera that I use as my webcam. Again, I'm a little extra. But anyway, so I actually have a folder for stickers. I also have a PSD that I usually print out, and it has, it's basically like a to-do list. I can show you guys real quick. Um, I'm not printing it out today because I'm not going to print a whole bunch of stickers, but if I'm printing you know, more than three, I have a column for printables and a column for cutting, and then I write the name and the shop, and then I just go through and mark everything. I do plan on eventually releasing a PDF for people to use, but I kind of want to perfect the design a little bit. I don't really like how it looks right now, so. But I have a folder for stickers, I have a folder specifically for my own stickers, and then I have one for each shop. So this is just a couple of shops that I recently purchased a bunch of kits from. So we have Fast Fee Printables, we have Paper and Gumption, and we have Paper Crown Planner. These are probably some of my favorite ones to purchase printable kits from. As I said, I will list a whole bunch down in the description bar of the ones that I've used and really liked. I find printing out stickers that someone else has designed and kind of put the silhouette cut files and everything all together for you is a really good way to learn how to use the silhouette cameo. It is a very complicated program and a very complicated device sometimes. It can be very finicky, your cut lines can be off for absolutely no reason, it can just go on the fritz for no reason one day and then the next day be a perfect little angel. Like that is just how the machine has always been for me. I got it several years ago from woot.com, I think for just like a hundred or something. You can always find deals. A lot of people um, use the cry cut. There's so many different machines that you can use too. Just kind of use whatever's within your budget and what you think would work best for you. That just happens to be what I got. But I do find printing out and cutting stickers that someone has already kind of done like the grunt work for, it definitely makes it a lot easier. And then you can kind of move on to trying to do your own 
but if you would like me to make a video on how I design and you know prepare my own stickers let me know in the comment section below and we'll do that video next but yeah so you basically I you download all the files from Etsy depending on where you purchase the stickers from but I usually get mine from Etsy because they're always in the download files and it's really easy to access um, especially from any of my computers if I want to do it for my laptop or if I just want to do it for my desktop but I put I typically do it for my desktop so you download the files and everything I like to organize them by shop and then in each shop list, there is the name of whatever it is. So we have like double boxes, we have an actual kit, you know, and it's whatever their cut files are. So we have, you know, paper and gumption, and then we have paper gum planner, and we have like February. So obviously I already <laughs> printed those out, but I just didn't delete the folder. I like doing this because it keeps me organized and it makes it a lot easier, especially when I'm doing like a big printing day. Because let me tell you, printing and cutting stickers can sometimes take hours. So keep that in mind. <laughs> that is why I like to set side time um, once or twice a month where I'm just at my computer printing and cutting a bunch of printables so I just have them on hand um, if I need them. But let's go ahead and print some stuff. Let's do the Star Wars kit by Fastby Printables and open these up. So you basically just open up each cutting file. I'm literally just gonna go in here and open each one until it opens. And what I also really like about using printable stickers is if you are someone that likes to use a lot of stickers or maybe you just wanna use, like you wanna use these glitter headers and these glitter boxes one week, but you kinda wanna do like two weeks of Star Wars. You can totally print everything out. You can print duplicates of stuff. It's really nice. It's really up to you. You can print as many or as little as you want. I don't really need the glitter boxes, so we're gonna skip those. So now that we're in Silhouette Studio, which is just the software that comes with the Silhouette Cameo and probably all the Silhouette machines, I'm not sure, um, we are going to get this prepped to print. But so I'm gonna go to File and then Print. When it comes to your printer settings, take in mind that it's gonna depend on your printer specifically. I usually use HP photo paper or matte presentation paper, depending on what I'm printing um, and then I usually set it to best. I found this looks the best with my printer and with the paper that I use. I also have one specifically for stickers which is that. So I usually just pick that one automatically and click OK, apply, print. And then you can just go through each sheet and print it because it'll automatically do that one. And I will say printing it in this specific setting, at least for my printer, it does take a while but I find it just gives, it just looks a lot nicer than when I print it normally personally I just find it does but again if you're just printing it for yourself you know it doesn't necessarily matter you know how good or fancy it looks you know you do you <laughs> and while it prints you pretty much just wait I usually end up just opening maybe two kits while I'm printing I don't want to do too many because sometimes you have to reprint pages because your machine cuts them incorrectly sometimes you have to you know sometimes it prints them wrong so I usually only try and print two things at once instead of doing a whole bunch because I find it's really easy to get kind of mixed up with things and have to like reprint stuff so I think it's just easier. So let's just print a, another kit. Let's do the tea time kit from Paper Crown Planner and once again you just open all the pages. You can also open them directly from Silhouette Studio. I just prefer to open them from the folder because I just like having it open when I'm doing it. I just think it's a little bit easier to kind of keep track of stuff. And then I'm just gonna go down the line and print uh, you can also just do control P on your computer with your keyboard to do print or I think it's command P on a Mac and now we wait. I will say typically when I'm printing and cutting stickers that's when I will have a show going on one of my other monitors or my iPad or even my phone or just listen to music because it kind of gives you something to do because there is a lot of downtime when you're waiting for stuff to print and it can be a little boring to just like sit here and stare at your computer while you wait. <laughs> In case you've never printed stickers before, these red lines on the actual stickers is, that's the cut line. So the machine reads these like little black marks. Those are like registration marks in the corner of the paper. And then it knows what part to kiss cut, which if you don't know what a kiss cut is, that is when something is not fully cut through, it's just partially cut through, which is typically what a sticker is. So let's go grab this page that is done. So the first page is done, you see that it did print out with the registration marks. If it doesn't print out with registration marks, you need to reprint it because the machine needs these to read to figure out how to cut it. So I'm gonna swap back to my other camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. So this is the sticking cutting mat that you use. You wanna make sure the arrow's at the very top because that is what you'll be feeding into the machine. I do find these get very dirty and collect dust and hair and just other gross things. And that's just how it is. I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. I will say a pro tip, when you buy a brand new one, honestly, 
try and get it a little bit grimy <laughs> not necessarily like dirty grimy but i will take one of my like really fluffy blankets and rub my blanket over it or like a towel or something because it will be too sticky and it'll drive you insane when you try to take stickers off i'm just you know pro tip so now back in the silhouette software we're going to go over to send because all the cut files are already done we don't have to add them ourselves um, i prefer to go under line I just think it looks better. Some of them will be set up to simple, some will be set up to line. I prefer line. So everything in a red mark is going to get cut that way. I like to go under material and I change it to sticker paper. So you have sticker paper white, that's usually what I use. A blade of two, which is what I use. So it's going to do a speed of eight and a force of 14. I find that should be fine. Um, sometimes the higher the force and sometimes higher the speed, the more it'll cut through the actual paper. But depending on the paper you use, you'll kind of have to like test and play around with it to see kind of what works best for you. But I find this should be fine. So we are just gonna hit send. This part is really obnoxious, but now it's going to read the registrations and print it and cut it, I mean. So once it's finished, it'll say job complete. It's kind of hard to see because it's reflecting the light, but you just hit unload and it'll spit her out. And then you just peel this off. And so now you have your sheet and if you pull up a corner you can see it is a sticky paper. And you pretty much just do that with all the pages that you have. We are just going to put this as close to the corner as we can. Some people don't even use a cutting mat. I prefer to use one but like you know so we've got that as close as we could to the edge. Looks pretty good. Some people don't use a cutting mat, but I prefer to use one. So line it up with the blue mark. Hit load cutting mat. So we are gonna go over to send again. We have it under line. We're gonna change this to a sticker paper. We're gonna make sure that the cut is fine to 814. That is fine with me. And we're just gonna go ahead and send it. So this is the Star Wars kit that I printed. Everything is printed and cut well. Um, do definitely just like make sure that the cut lines are correct. I've had stuff sometimes either print wrong or the cut lines are off and I had to redo it. So just be sure you double check that because you don't want to go to use the kit and realize you got a messed up cut line or page or something. So I like to use this to kind of cut down the pages a little bit. You can also use scissors, kind of just whatever you have. I found that some kits that you purchase online will have these where they're a little bit smaller and they can fit like a photo album, which is how a lot of people store their stickers. Some of them they don't, don't come that way, which I mean doesn't really bother me either way, but I will kind of cut these myself just to kind of cut it down just a little bit. So I'll kind of line that little like string that's in there as close to the edge as I can get without cutting it. And I'll just kind of go through and clean up the edges a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I print and cut stickers. Um, a lot of it really helps when you use stickers that already have cut files, and that's mostly what I do, but I do kind of design some of my own as well. But I mostly just wanted to make a video kind of showing you guys how I print stickers and how I cut some from printable shops because I have had people ask me about it. And honestly, I love using printable shop stickers. I think it's a good way to, sh to support, you know, other fellow planner people. And, you know, you can get a kit for just a couple of bucks instead of spending one to get the physical kit. Obviously, you spend more at the beginning because you have to buy the printer and the paper and the machine to cut everything but in the long run I think it's a lot cheaper and honestly like this is a gorgeous printable kit it turned out really good I'm really I'm really happy with it so my printer isn't too bad I like it so thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you would like me to make a video kind of showing how I design my own stickers and all that, uh, let me know in the comment section below and maybe we'll do that for the next video. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.